team veteran. She's going left and playing it for Dunn. Stand by one. Dunn against the doll camper. Cutting back in the 18. Dunn her right foot, trying the shot near post. Spilled and hit it oh. by Matheson. Chantel Jones with an error there. And Diana Matheson Stand says, thank you very much. One nothing. Yeah, you know, very unfortunate for Chantel Jones. It was, it was quite a rip from Crystal Dunn. <laughs> Comes for Nairn in the center circle. Opening up left is Reynolds, but instead it's stolen by us, Michelle Heyman. The Aussie running at Estelle Johnson. Heyman now with a good cutback move in the box. Heyman shot is deflected and saved by Harris. Edmonds right footed serve towards the far post. Headed down and punched on the line by Ashlyn Harris and just over. <laughs> Spencer was there on the doorstep and Ashlyn Harris shut it in her face. Sure, that was certainly not something that Ashlyn Harris would have been able to catch over top of Jasmine Spencer. Edmonds trying to replicate that good serve she hit about 30 seconds to go. And this is another good one towards the far post. Headed on goal and cleared off the line. I believe that was Nairn that got to it. It was, and we'll do it again from the other side, but sure. Spirit hanging on right now. Sure, and, and you, you see the Western New York flash, flash. Obviously, we don't have goal line technology here at the Soccerplex, but you see Western New York asking, saying that that was a goal, but I clearly thought Nairn was, if not her body, was on the line. And that's why you have post players. And you hold them strong until you're able to clear the ball. So Aaron Lyons burning two with three changes at the break. The Spirit will stay intact with their starting 11. Church for Krieger. For Loman now. Dummied for Francisco Ordega. Ordega creates space. Plays it in low in the box for Loman. Back for Dunn. Cutting back in one foot. Dunn shot. Tipped over the bar. What a save from Chantel Jones. And yes. her return to the plex. Yes. And Chantel Jones read it really well. She kept taking a little bit of space and, and eventually knew that Crystal Dunn was going to get the amount of space to take a shot. So I think it was very well done by Chantel Jones. Dunn with the sliding shot and ticketed for that top corner. And Chantel Jones was in a very good position mm -hmm. to tip that over. Mm -hmm. A few times. Sure. Nairn served towards Loman, towards Oyster. Block, second chance for Whitney Church, and another great catch and mm -hmm. save from Chantel Jones. Mm -hmm. And these last two saves from Chantel Jones, I think, are perfect for her to kind of raise her spirits a little bit after, after giving up the sloppy goal in the first half. Tennis announced at 4,101, and like we said, Danielle, that's a great crowd for the Yeah, exactly. Left-footed ball from Christine Nair towards the far post. Headed and saved again by Chantel Jones as Ortega is denied. Three great saves from Jones this half. And it's, you know, 10 to 5 at this point, corner kicks for Western New York. Headed by Crystal Dunn. Second ball kept alive by Allende. Shot from deep from Hinkle off the bar. Kept alive. Williams fighting for it, and Nairn will volley it clear. <laughs> what a rip from Hinkle. The cost of fighting for it, still fighting for it, Ooh. and trying a volley off balance, and that goes just over with Jones off her line. Now it's Krieger. Dunn turning inside. Dunn in the box. Dunn's right foot a shot is deflected. Really good sliding tackle coming back from Whitney Ingen. Mm -hmm. And what a, what a good like little feint that Crystal Dunn had as that ball was traveling to her. Just a little feint to turn, open herself up to see if she could produce something from that turn. Must have hit Dunn again on the way through as it's a goal kick mm -hmm. instead of a corner. As Ingen certainly got a touch in there. Mm -hmm. Dunn. Making the run is Ordega. She'll land into space for the Nigerian. Step for step. She gets a touch in. Ordega in the box on her right foot. Ortega misses well wide. You know, what kind of space is there to run into? Krieger for, for Dunn as Jones retreats. Dunn shot across the face, saved by Jones. Rebound blocked by Ordega and cleared off the line. Oh, my. Chantel <laughs> Jones has had a really good second half. Yes. And I, I, I think, you DaCosta, know. here we go again. Turn from Dunn in the box again. Dunn in the box, right-footed shot. Blocked by the sliding Ayende. A second half that is lacked for goals, but certainly not for drama. Sure. And, and again, another body on Crystal Dunn when she's going to goal. You know, West New York's really done a good job at, at getting a body in on her and not having a clean look. But Chantel's come up huge for the, for the West New York flash in the second half as well. But she has certainly made up for, for everything from the first half. What a cross from Hinkle. Half. Kept alive in the box. 
popped up again by Heyman. Chance now and a great save from Harris. Second chance is in, and Western New York has tied this game in the 90th minute. And I was just about to say in that moment that Ashlyn Harris hasn't had to do much this half. She she came up and made a great initial first save, but I, I think it was, again, in like a no-man's land territory. Uh, you know, not really many spirit players were around to clear the ball, but that was just great for West New York to battle themselves back into this game. We'll get to the stoppage time in a second, but here's the chance again. Finish there, and I still am not sure who scored that one. It looks like maybe Heyman. They're going to give it to Williams. Okay. So. Again, a clutch goal from the rookie. We have nine minutes of stoppage time. Well, nine minutes? We can, oh see, my gosh. we can see the 100th minute in this game. Wow. Space for Church to pick a ball. She'll go first time looking for Dunn. Dunn shakes Taylor's shoulder. Dunn in the box looking for a late winner. Bit of a bubble touch there, and the shot is off the mark. That next to last touch is what killed her. Oh, that has to be frustrating for her. She does such a great job to get herself open. It seemed as if her left foot just kind of slid right in there and took a touch, touch away from her, which essentially took, her, took the ball off frame. DaCosta right, comes through for Dunn. We'll try this again. Dunn in the box, heavy touch. Miles Jones back in the play, still loose and finally knocked out for a corner. All right, 99th minute. Is there another chance left in this one? Crystal Dunn hopes so. Ball over the top, headed by Chantel Jones. Gets through to Krieger. Jones still off her line, hustling back. And Edwards does enough to an Ottawa Krieger to chip her from 45 yards out. <laughs> now Spencer will go the other way, and that will do it. 99 and a half minutes, <laughs> not enough to break the t break the deadlock. A 1-1 tie as Lynn Williams gets a goal in the 90th minute and steals a point for the flash. Exactly, and if you look out there at this moment, just players bent over with their hands on their knees. Estelle Johnson was down on the ground. I think this was just an exhausting game for both teams. It was so back and forth, especially, I guess, in the last 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you know, here here in the second half. So a total exhausting game, and you could really tell the, the girls are feeling it. With the exception of Chantel Jones' mistake that led to Dynamo Athens' goal, I thought both goalkeepers were terrific tonight. Oh, absolutely. And and unfortunately, uh, on the goal against the Spirit, you know, fortunately for the Flash, Ashlyn Harris came out and made a great save, a great initial sa save. Nobody for the Spirit was there to follow up and clear it. So, um, you know, both goalkeepers came up huge this evening for their clubs. And, you know, hopefully, you know, both of them gained some sort of confidence out of it, especially Chantel Jones. 